Hey everybody and welcome to the lounge on my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers. I'm not talking real loud because I am out in my podcast room right now. Tom's in his room playing games as usual. But I told him we have to do a uh, fan mail. So I got, got a couple pieces of fan mail here that I need to do fan mail video. So I told him we were going to do this video. But today's the day that uh, paybacks happen. You know, I might let things slide for a while, you know, fishing pole in the pool, paint on the head. By the way, I still have a little bit of paint on my glasses still too, it won't come off. So, I was like, how can I get them back? Well, guess what, guys? Oh, you know what? I'll be right back, I have to turn the camera off. I forgot to get something. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I had to get a, a cause I, it was a pretty key point. So anyway, I took this from Tom, his switch is Nintendo switch and am I going to destroy it nah I'm not like that so I am going to hide this in uh, let me show you I'm going to hide that in one of these bins right here so I'm going to put that down the side like that there we go. All right, so that's hidden away nice and neat. So what I was going to do is I'm going to take some rocks, and that's what I had to go outside for. I had to get some rocks. And I'm going to put, I'm going to put two of them in a box like this. All right, I'm going to seal that up, and then I'm going to tape it up, and that's going to be a, uh, a package of fan mail with a letter. I'm going to read the letter and hopefully he'll understand what's going on. But in the letter it's going to say, well, I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. Um, it's pretty elaborate. Um, the best, sometimes the best pranks are the ones where somebody thinks it's a prank, but it's not really a prank. Um, they're the best ones always. So you'll see what I'm going to write down on this. I've been thinking about this long and hard. You don't know how hard it was to sneak his switch. The boy hardly ever comes out of his room unless I make him go outside and do something. So, all right, let me get this done and write this letter that I want to do and uh, and get it all prepped up and then I have to get him to set up the camera and everything because we're doing a fan mail video. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I got it all done. Let me show you what I did. Here's the box. Right there, and I kind of put, let's see if you can see it. Do not open till after you read my letter and check out this John Thomas 410 Willow Lane, Sasquatch, New Jersey. <laughs> Sometimes I make myself laugh. Um, and then I wrote, I wrote a letter. Um, also, I put a couple. I, what I did is I took a stamp off of an old letter and I used a glue stick and re-glued it and I put a couple black lines on there so he won't know any difference. And, uh, and I have a couple other legit letters too, so um, now I gotta do is get him to go set up the camera and everything. What's really funny is like, yeah, I'm doing this setup and everything, but now I'm gonna make him set up the camera and all that stuff for what he thinks is a fan mail video that we're gonna be doing. And in fact, he's setting it up for his own prank. <laughs> Oh, this is a long time coming. All right, guys, let me go get them. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the lounge. I'm my fellow loungers, chillers, ballers, and grillers, and fan mailers, and whoever else is out there. And everyone else. But you should have turned the filter off. It's kind of loud. I'll go get it. Oh, just to let you know, Joe, in case you watch this video, this is uh, a beer, yes, and we did say we're allowed to drink when we're filming, so technically I'm filming, so I'm allowed to have a beer. Um, it's only like one. Maybe I'll have two today. I just we... flipped the off switch, right? Yeah, just turn the switch. It's not that hard. I don't normally turn them off. Well, it says on, it says off. What? It says on, it says off. Well, yes, but I didn't know if that was like for the timer or anything. Do you want to read anything or you want me to read everything? Now you read something. I don't want to read everything. Sure. We're, anyway, guys, we're doing a fan mail video. We haven't done one for... A little eh, while. A little while. It hasn't been that long ago, but... Um, we got three things and a box, which is kind of cool. Uh, this one's a little, I don't know, it's typewritten. 
Like, like, so it is. Like the, I ha, I, I'm gonna block out their name, but it's like, it's typewritten. Like I haven't seen somebody use a typewriter in a long time. So you can you can do that one just in case it's creepy. Uh, okay. And I'll do the next two because I am the main person on the channel. Okay. Sure you are. Entire letter is typewritten. Is it? Oh, is it long? Not terribly. <laughs> it's from a lawyer. Cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Larry and the Lounge Crew. Thanks so much for your YouTube channel and the work you put into them. Oh, thank you. I know videos can be a lot of work and more so during this time, but I'm surely not the only one that has been entertained for hours during this pandemic, especially in the early stay at home months. Yeah. And wanted you guys to know you're greatly appreciated. We appreciate you. Uncle Larry first came to my attention during the McJugger Nuggets Ursula and Haunted series, the latter being my favorite, and I was happy to learn he created his own channel. I've enjoyed the chilling grilling videos and I've tried a few of the recipes and they've turned out great and very delicious. That's awesome. I've also enjoyed the other stories and eagerly await figuring out Joe's bear or whatever it is problem. Keep up the good work and stay safe guys. Good luck and God bless, Brett. Thank you Brett, that means the world to me and by the time you this see- This is a very official letter. By the t I believe by the time you see this video, that would have already happened. Yeah. So you already know what's, what's going on. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. That means a lot to us when we when we read these letters. Matter of fact, I'm, Tom, yeah. you read so good. I'm going to let you do this one. I'll just do the last one. Okay. I think I comprehend it more when you're doing it. That's because I'm positive. such a good reader. Your slow opener, though. Dear Uncle Larry, thank you for no making. Tom? Just Uncle Larry. Oh. Did thank it you. Say Tom on the outside of the envelope? Yes. Oh. Dear Uncle Larry, thank you for making good videos over the years. I really like chilling and grilling and gaming at the lounge. I think you should bring back, bring gaming back, and make a full game walkthrough. That would be cool to see. I also like the vlogs you make. What's that mean? A, a, from the beginning to the end of, like, a, of a game? Like, playthrough of an entire game. Oh, well. That would take a while. Especially with us. Oh, well, him at Joe. least. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also like the vlogs you make as well because some of them are funny. I, I like the one when Tom was messing around with you about the chickens. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite meal is the grilled cheese, the grilled cheese mac attack from a few years ago. Oh, that was good. The reason one I made was the fish wraps, and they were good too. Those are also really old, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're some old ones. Can't wait to see more chilling and grilling on your channel. Sincerely, Joe V. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, there's some old recipes there. And uh, I remember the uh, the Mac attack was was pretty dang good. And yeah. the fish tacos were really good, too. Um, yeah, we appreciate that and everything. Uh, it's hot out. Yeah, and uh, just an update real fast on the chicken, since he mentioned the chickens. Mm -hmm. um, pretty pretty sure I'm not going to get them now uh, I you know I, I read up on them and everything and it's like uh, I don't know if I have the time I can't count on Tom to do it so and you don't really want to take care of chickens and I'm like you know what if I want some if I want some eggs I'll just go to the store because you can get brown eggs at the store too so exactly so anyway this this thing tells me to don't open this until after I read the letter and it's from the same person so I guess I'll read the letter first and he even wrote it he wrote it on here too. So I really wanted you to make sure. Yeah. Dear Uncle Larry and Tom. There we go. There you go. Please throw my box into the pool before reading the rest of this. Hey, what? He said, please throw my box into the pool before I read the rest of it. Okay. okay, I guess. That's what it said. Well, it's float. Maybe it's a little, like a little boat or something. I don't know. Huh? I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, it's just float. I, I mean, you're you're really just <laughs> gonna toss it in the pool? Well, I'm making sure that like something like with water doesn't react, and all of a sudden something happens out there. But that doesn't make any sense. Huh? I mean, it it could be like slime mix or dye or something and could you know ruin our entire pool it doesn't seem like it is it's like, it's like 
So you completely submerge it. That makes sense. Well, just I wanted to see if it was going to die or anything coming out, you know? But then that would ruin the pool. You'd have to drain the whole thing. That doesn't... That well, seems like it's okay. I think it's a pool toy. Somebody told me they were sending me a pool toy or something like that, you know, before. Okay, I guess. Weird. It looks like it's kind of sinking, doesn't it? I guess. Huh. Well, don't get it on the rest of the family. Don't wipe it on me, either. I don't want the, the letter to all be smeary and stuff, you know? That's interesting, isn't it? I wonder what it is, because it obviously floats. Or at least it was. It wouldn't go down, though. I mean, so, if it's... I wonder what it is. Well, let me read this huh. letter. I really love your videos, and you guys are really funny. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. We try to be. I mean, sometimes Tom doesn't think I'm funny. I'm not really sure why. I think I'm kind of funny. You... What? Nothing. What were you going to say? Uncle Larry is the best, and I love when you prank Tom. Yeah, you know what? I I love it, too, when I do that, but I haven't done it for a long time, because I told you I'm kind, kind of sick of that. Like, you know, I don't think we should be doing that. And, like, you got me good, so we're kind of even and stuff. I keep looking because I'm like... I'm expecting it to something to happen and because I can't imagine why I had to throw it into the the pool like that. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just more surprised they just threw it in the pool. Well that's what the anyway. letter said. Why wouldn't I do what the letter said? <laughs> Plenty of reasons. I don't feel like our I have to admit that I've owed you this letter for quite some time. But good things take some time to happen. That is true. A lot of times good things take They can. The, now that makes me really think that something good's going to happen there, right? Huh. Anyway, I would just like to say that I've been a really bad boy and I'm really sorry. What? Huh. Who wrote this? What's his name? John, I think. John, you doing all right? I know I shouldn't have thrown your fishing pole into the pool. So I decided what better way to make amends than let you box up my Nintendo Switch and throw it into the pool. We are now even your son, Tom. But, oh! Well, thanks, Tom. You, you, you box up your Nintendo Switch and you my threw switch. it in the pool? <laughs> switch in the box! <laughs> Tom, what's the matter? <laughs> oh Tom, it's just a it's just an electronic game. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Now we're even, right? Uh I mean you you can oh it looks kinda wet now. Oh there's a lot of water soaked. coming out of that box. Oh man. Wow, somebody sealed that up good, didn't they? How about that? Did you get it? Is it? Oh, rocks. Rocks? Oh, how about that? <laughs> well, Tom, I guess we're even now, right? Please, don't do that. Well, I mean, I didn't do it, Tom. I just pretended I, I that I... I what you didn't do. Yeah, but, but now we're even, right? Because, you know, heaven forbid if your switch got ruined. Don't worry, it's safe and sound. And this is over the fishing pole? Oh, yeah. And, oh, by the it's way. It's not even equivalent. Why isn't it? That was it? like $300 plus all the games I bought. But I bought. Tom, nothing happened to your, your... I know nothing happened to the Switch, but I didn't know that. But now you do, so it's all good, right? So, here's the thing, Tom. I just want to say, it was awful nice of you to actually make amends for it in real life. And that was buy me a new fishing pole. I didn't buy a new fishing pole. No, actually you did. Because I ordered one, and it came in already, and I'm docking your pay for it. And also, I appreciate the fishing line that came with it, and I also appreciate the uh, the Berkeley Gulp worms that I'll be using down in North Carolina also. 
Uh, about 50 60 dollars I think no it was way that old huh my shoes are still in the pool <laughs> it's, 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 Tom you're probably gonna have to go in there and get them because they're like in the middle floating yeah, around I see that. yeah so I hope you appreciate that next time maybe you'll oh, yeah, I appreciate it maybe you'll next next time you'll think twice about like uh, putting paint on my head or oh, you know what let me get my beer I forgot about the paint. well I don't I remember everything, Tom. Yeah, I'm sure Sooner or later, it comes back to haunt you. Could you at least give me a towel? Oh yeah, I'll be right on that. Uh, um, you want a big one or a small one? Yeah, let me get a towel for you. I like a beach towel. Yeah, let me. All right. Great. Yeah, okay. I'll be out in a second. Yeah, I'm not getting him no towel. He can drip dry. I don't remember him helping wash off the paint off my head. Or going in and get the, the fishing pole out of the pool or anything like that. I don't remember that. Do you remember that? Because I don't remember that. Yeah, well, this is what happens. Told you before, Tom. Don't mess with the bull. You get the horns. So, guys, I hope you guys appreciated this because as much as I did because I really appreciated it. Because you got to hit a kid where it hurts. And that's usually with their games. Their game and stuff, you don't mess with that. Then they get all bent out of shape and everything. But, hey, you mess with a man's fishing pole. Then we're coming after your games, your Nintendo games, and your your whatever you got, your computer crap. So, I feel like I kind of feel justified now, and I feel like we're kind of even. And it was a hot day outside. They got to jump in the pool. Go outside once in a while. Until next time, guys. Grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet on, relax. I'll meet you at the lounge. Next time, maybe don't prank me.